and on the surface. Okay, you're right. Channel's on the surface, and it's been a long way, but we're here. I'm Jack Schmidt, Apollo 17 astronaut and geologist. I flew to the moon in December of 1972 and landed in the valley of Tars Littrow. The valley of Tars Littrow is deeper than the Grand Canyon of the Colorado, mountains 7,000 feet high on both sides. Of course, there's no atmosphere on the moon, and so the normal blue sky that we're used to seeing here on Earth was absent. But that black sky and the beautiful planet Earth hanging over one side of the valley is an image that I take with me forever. With the moon and Google Earth, let me invite all of you to tour the moon as I did when Apollo 17 visited the Valley of Tars Littrow. Hi, this is Ed Liu, Google's resident astronaut. Let me show you how to take a virtual trip to the moon. To switch from Earth to the moon in Google Earth, go to the top toolbar and select moon. Now you'll be able to explore the moon and moon-related content in the left panel layers. With historical charts, you can explore actual planning charts of the moon from the Apollo missions. These high-resolution maps were used for astronaut training and by mission control during the lunar missions. Clicking the Human Artifacts layer displays those objects humans have left on the moon, including 3D models of spacecraft. In the left panel, you'll see links to the six Apollo landing sites on the moon. Double-click Apollo 11 and zoom in and see it in more detail. Once you arrive, you can watch video clips of Neil Armstrong's first steps on the moon and many other significant mission moments. View 3D models of mission spacecraft like the Apollo 11 lunar module Eagle. And see panoramic imagery taken by the astronauts themselves of the moon's surface, like this picture of Buzz Aldrin next to the lunar module. Speaking of Buzz, he's here to give you a guided tour of the moon in case you get lost. To play Buzz's tour, open the Apollo 11 folder and double-click his tour to begin. You can start and stop at any time if you want to explore specific parts of the moon on your own. We've also included a tour from Jack Schmidt. He'll take you through the sites that he visited with his fellow Apollo 17 astronaut, Gene Cernan. We hope the moon in Google Earth helps you explore the moon in new and different ways. The essential ingredient for human beings is being there. Come with me to the moon with Moon and Google Earth.